Hello Cloud Gurus, I'm Matthias and I have Jeremy and Banjo with me today. Um, this is a special extra live streamy thing that we're bringing you because Banjo has uh, kindly agreed to, to join us to, to share some of the awesome things that AWS has been working on. Uh, let's start with you. Do you mind introducing yourself? Hey everyone, I'm Banjo Biami. I'm a senior developer advocate at AWS. Awesome. And Jeremy, we already know. We've met yep. Jeremy, another developer, developer advocate, advocate like me at Pluralsight and Cloud Guru. So. Um, all right, well, we wanted to ask you some questions. First of all, um, you were mentioning that you've already done a, a session here at reInvent. Do you want to talk a little bit about that and then tell us what's coming up for you? Yeah, yeah, so I gave a session yesterday on natural language processing. It was about building uh, actual end-to-end -end classification system for text on product reviews. So you go to like Amazon.com, you see this review is helpful, a human labeled that. So how can you make a machine understand what humans think is helpful? So it was a very interesting uh, discussion we talked about and leverage open source tools to actually build a machine learning model to predict that. Awesome. Uh, so, by the way, I should mention, if you have any questions, we'll try and get them uh, while we're live here, but we have a really short time frame. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, did you have anything you wanted to jump in with questions? Uh, or in a minute? All right. Uh, did you want to tell us a little bit about the, the workshops that are coming up as oh, yes, well? Oh, yeah. So I have two workshops tomorrow on building serverless Apache Kafka data pipelines. So it's going to be an end-to-end -end example. We get to spin up a serverless Apache cluster, send data to them, and make quick quick site dashboards. You get to see that whole analytic spectrum of actually standing up the data pipeline and getting an analyst view of the actual dashboard with the data. So. I love end-to-end -end solutions, as you can tell. End-to-end so. -end is very yes. nice. Yeah, because then you can show something that's like, it, it's not just like a toy thing. It, like, it actually comes across as a, a complete thing, which it's really interesting that you can put together such big systems that are like material systems in such a short amount of time. How long is the workshop? The workshop is two hours. So we give, give you a lot of time to like, digest information, get your AWS account set up, and then start building. I love it. I love it. Now you were mentioning about recordings uh, just before we went live that the workshops unfortunately are not recorded, but the sessions are. So uh, when do you think the session might come out? Yeah, sessions are, the breakout sessions are recorded and it's only like one or two weeks afterward. Don't quote me on that, but <laughs> the workshop, you got to be there in person. So if you have a choice between a breakout session and the workshop out here on the thing that isn't going to be recorded. Definitely good tip for a reinvent, uh, reinvent sort of a, an approach. Uh, yeah. And now this is not your first reinvent. You have thankfully you were uh, uh, you joined us last year yes, for some of our yes, recap stuff. Yes. Um, you had a good experience uh, apparently because you back came here, back. Yeah. Exactly. You're willing to come back and do more stuff with us, which is awesome. We appreciate that. Uh, what's been some of the most fun stuff that you've uh, gotten to do leading up to reinvent? If you don't. My yeah, we, we invent is always fun, there's always hype around it. So this year I actually did a, a Twitter space on actually talking about how to prepare for reinvent. So that was really fun. Just getting tips and tricks from the community such as bring walking shoes, get chapstick, you know, you're gonna be talking a lot. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint, so don't try to do every little session. So it's really just so that was a very good way to just talk to the community and get tips and tricks on how to prepare for reinvent. Yeah. Now you were mentioning, I think Jeremy, that uh, you had gotten um, how many thousands of steps this morning was it? Uh, I had 29,000 steps yesterday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> going back and forth. 29,000 steps. So those yeah. walking shoes. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good walking shoes, shoes right? Yeah. Very handy. Very handy. 29,000. You've been walking all over the place, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, it's Look how big my... the expo hall is. Yeah. Like, oh wow. Like, it's, oh, it's I went around that thing three or four times yesterday. We were talking with another member of our team, and uh, um, she unfortunately missed the shuttle, and she needed to get to a different uh, venue. Yeah. She's like, "I'll walk it," and so she walked all the way to the MGM. I mean, good on her. That Jeez. was, yeah. but that was that was uh, big. It's deceptively walk. large. It may look close, but it's actually very far. It, so. Yeah. so far, yes. <laughs> Even just getting from like the entrance of one of the casino uh, yeah. hotels to the conference center <laughs> area. Takes forever. <laughs> so. I, I feel like I'm a mile from my hotel room right now. I'm, I'm probably not, but that's what it yeah. feels like. And it's across the street, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's across the street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, in terms of reinvent, uh, you're inside of AWS, and a lot of stuff is happening to build up to this. 
Um, and there are, you know, there are certain things that uh, that are you're, you're, I'm sure, finding out about in advance. Is it is it cathartic to have it be announced so you can start talking about those things? <laughs> well, at AWS, everybody's doing their own things, so uh, sometimes we don't even know what's going to happen. Yeah. So like, we're finding out the same time you're finding oh, out. So, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm learning just in real time, which is fun. So. Well, I mean, yeah, we're all learning in real time, really. <laughs> yeah. That's that's actually a, like. It's one of the things I say all the time is that learning is our primary skill yes. in technology. It's Always. like, yes. if we're not continuously learning, we can't make a career in technology because no matter what you've learned, if you stop there, that's it, you're done, right? It's the a timeline. end of learning is the beginning of death. Oh, there you go. The, we we got to quote that one. That is, yeah. uh, all right. <laughs> what has been it. your favorite announcement so far? Like oh, favorite? Yeah. Okay, so. This morning there was an announcement about the data plane, about setting up governance for data. Oh, so that's a very big, big thing that customers always ask for, like how could I make better data? How could I let this out? How can I add my own metadata tag? So that, that was a pretty cool announcement. So looking forward to see how that sure. data plane solution evolves and how customers are going to use that. Nice. Awesome. I, and I was kind of curious. Um, I heard the the uh, announcements last night. Peter DeSantis was talking about the cold starts for Lambda. Did you catch that one? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think about that? Times faster, especially for Java applications. That's definitely a big burden on customers always ask about. So that's, that's amazing that that's the least, yes. Yeah, I mean, people are frequently talking about how cold starts are the problem, right? Like, it, it, sometimes it's material to their architecture, and other times it's just like, I don't know, they've heard about it and they're scared of it sort of a thing, right? What about, oh my goodness, cold start, I don't yeah, want to deal with that. I know, like that. I know. Uh, but the, this is like, this is a big deal, yes, a big deal. Yes. He said it was indistinguishable from warm starts. That's, like. That, well, Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I gotta I gotta check that out. But I mean that is pretty insanely awesome, right? Like just how fast things start, you're gonna see the scale of things what customers do when they start voting fast and not having to worry about that cool start and that's gonna be Wow. Yeah. I mean spiky workloads are so perfectly suited for lambdas and it's the cold starts that wind up impacting you when you're scaling up so strongly right at once, right? So to have that reduced like that, I mean, that is dramatic. Yeah, I love it. Hey, you got to teach me that one. <laughs> I don't know, I think it was a big one. Right? Yeah, so, there you go. I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Very awesome. I, I'm uh, mindful of time. Uh, I know you've got to get going, but it was so kind of you to join us for this. Uh, any other things you want to mention, plugs or whatever? Um, like, Come check out my workshop if you're here. Look at the Expo Hall. Uh, we're also streaming on Twitch. Uh, if you want to see AWS stuff, like, there's so many things to look at. So just have fun, enjoy, consume content, and keep learning. Awesome. All Keep right, learning. Awesome. Yes. yes. The the end of learning is the beginning of death. Ooh, that's that's right. what you said, right? Yes. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you both. And uh, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome. <laughs> awesome.